Hello everyone. Today I will tell you the story of a faded movie star and an abandoned young woman who meet in Tokyo and form an unlikely bond. I look forward to your likes and comments about the movie. The title of the movie is at the end of the clip, here we go. From the first frames of the movie we are introduced to Bob Harris, a middle-aged actor who arrives in Tokyo, the capital of Japan. The man looks at neon signs on skyscrapers. Arriving at the hotel, the hero encounters a delegation from the company Satori, from whom he must star in a whiskey commercial. The actor receives various gifts and arranges for the employees to pick him up tomorrow. After that, Bob goes to the bar, where he is very annoyed with his fans. A man suffering from insomnia cannot sleep and decides to have a drink downstairs. However, even there he is recognized and tries to make a dialogue with the actor. Bob returns to the room, and all night long he cannot sleep. The same happens with Charlotte, who came to Tokyo with her husband John. In the morning, the sleep-deprived heroes go down the elevator together and smile at each other. After that, Bob goes to shoot a commercial. There are a lot of people on the set, and the director is trying to explain to the movie star how best to advertise the drink. Forced to use an interpreter, Bob doesn't quite understand why he has to just look at the camera and clarifies where he should turn his head. The man asks the interpreter why the requirements are so simple, although the director speaks and explains much more in his own language. The first take is not quite successful, and the director again starts shouting demands at the uncomprehending but unperturbed Bob. However, the interpreter once again confines herself to asking him to speak more clearly and expressively. The man once again complies, but it is not what is needed. Meanwhile, Charlotte decides to go on a little trip to Tokyo. The girl observes with interest the everyday life of the Japanese, their architecture and rhythm of life. Charlotte even gets into a small temple and, returning home, calls her friend to share her impressions. The girl cries that she felt nothing from such wonderful things, it seems to her that something broke inside her. Not getting sympathy, Charlotte decides to decorate the room for the arrival of her husband, who works as a photographer. John talks about his work, practically ignoring the girl and her question about whether he liked the scarf she knitted. Meanwhile, Bob returns to the hotel after an exhausting shoot, and in his room he decides to watch TV and sees a movie starring him. Suddenly there is a knock on the door, and opening it, the actor sees a stranger in front of him. She informs him that she was sent by Mr. Ganzo. The girl insistently asks Bob to tear her stockings, and then pounces on him, asking him not to touch her. The actor tries to get out of the unpleasant embrace, and escort the girl out of the room. The next day Charlotte again goes for a walk in Tokyo. At this time, Bob meets with a delegation from Satori, which offers him to stay until Friday to star in a famous Japanese show. The actor evasively says that he needs to consult with his agent, as he may have a very busy schedule and everything is scheduled. Before the shooting, the agent advises Bob to stay and come to the show, but the man resists this because he wants to leave Tokyo as soon as possible. At the photo shoot, the hero behaves quite funny and even cartoonishly, fulfilling the strange demands of the photographer. In the evening Bob goes to a bar to relieve the tension. There the man sees Charlotte, who smiles sweetly at him. The girl calls the waiter and asks him to give Bob some nuts as a sign of her sympathy. In the night, the hero desperately works out on an elliptical machine, because of which in the morning he appears in front of the delegation with a slight limp. Charlotte goes for a walk with her husband, when suddenly John is suddenly hailed by Kelly, his old acquaintance. The photographer speaks to her affably. A man agrees to go for a walk with Kelly and Charlotte in the evening, after which he leaves for work. Meanwhile, the girl listens to recordings about karma in her room and then decides to take a walk around the hotel. There she sees Kelly, who is being interviewed, and she talks about Keanu Reeves. After that, Charlotte gets to a small floristry workshop, takes a bath, but all this does not get rid of her apathy. At night, the girl again cannot sleep, and therefore decides to go down to the bar. She sits down next to Bob, who is also suffering from insomnia. The actor says that he flew to Tokyo to star in a commercial, instead of being at his son's birthday party or doing something useful. The characters chat, discussing marriage, work, and midlife crisis. The next day, Bob decides to go swimming in the pool. 
Charlotte finds a more exciting activity, the girl finds herself in a center with a lot of slot machines. In the evening she meets a tired John after work and decides to go with him to a bar to meet Kelly. Communication seems boring to Charlotte and, noticing Bob, she decides to stand a little with him. The next day John goes to another city for work and leaves Charlotte alone for a couple of days. The girl still feels apathetic and lonely and listens to music while looking out the panoramic window. Charlotte meets Bob again at the pool and they have a slightly stilted conversation with each other. The girl decides to invite her new acquaintance to a party with friends and the actor accepts the invitation. In the evening, Bob picks up Charlotte in the hotel room and they go to the meeting together. The man meets a lot of young and interesting people and the party spirit takes over. In addition, Bob decides to take the opportunity to practice his Japanese a little. Charlotte finds him at this activity. Suddenly the heroes are attacked by a man with a toy gun and they, laughing, escape from the pursuit. After that, Charlotte and her new friend go to visit and there they continue their fun. For the first time in a long time, Bob feels alive and truly feels life and its charms. He watches Charlotte singing at karaoke with tenderness and waking sympathy. Tired of the noise, the heroes go out into the corridor and sit next to each other, but feel awkward because of the inability to express their feelings. Exhausted, they head back to the hotel. Charlotte feels that now the surrounding reality arouses emotions in her. Bob carries the sleeping girl to the room and carefully covers her with a blanket, then goes to his room and tells his wife about the experience. The next day, the man met with Charlotte again and told her that his apathy had become less. Having learned that the girl has twisted her leg, Bob decides to show her to a doctor. In the hospital, the characters fool around and cheer each other up in every possible way. The doctor explains to Charlotte, who does not understand a word of Japanese, what to do, while Bob also unsuccessfully tries to communicate with the man in line. When the girl leaves the office, the actor gives her a plush pillow with an owl. After the meeting, Charlotte revisits photos with John while Bob plays golf in the room. A man receives an invitation to the orange bar from a new acquaintance. It turns out that in this place they dance quite racy dances, and while Charlotte looks at the girls with embarrassment and admiration, Bob seems to remain cold-blooded. The heroes decide to escape from this place and take a trip through Tokyo at night. Back at the hotel, they see Kelly singing, which amuses them greatly. In the night, Charlotte wakes up and tries to think of something to do. Under the door, the girl finds a note from Bob asking if she is asleep. Charlotte goes to the man's room and they watch a black and white movie together. The characters chat and discuss important issues, but feel a little stiff because they can't show their true feelings. Charlotte says that she doesn't know who she should be or what to do in life. However, Bob says that he is calm for her, the main thing is that she does not put her hands down. When Charlotte asks about his marriage, the man says that in the beginning everything was wonderful, they laughed a lot, went everywhere together. But now his wife is doing without him, fully devoting herself to the children. The next day Charlotte again visits an amazing temple and sees there a traditional Japanese wedding. This time the sight touches the girl and she watches the couple with admiration and fascination. In the meantime, Bob decides to accept the offer to participate in the show in order to stay longer in Tokyo. After it, the man returns to the hotel and communicates with his wife, who has a very trivial conversation about buying a new burgundy palace. Bob talks to his wife rather coldly and feels no desire to continue the conversation. The frustrated man goes to the bathhouse, then watches a show in his room and goes to a bar to forget and relax. There he chats with a local singer, and when he wakes up in the morning, he sees her in his room. Bob hears a knock on the door and sees Charlotte, who invites him to the sushi bar. The girl hears singing and realizes that the hero does not care about her. The characters do meet, but they feel even more tense than before. Bob realizes that Charlotte is angry with him, but he also blames himself for this act, and therefore does not know how to melt the ice between them. At night, the heroes wake up from the fire alarm in the hotel, Charlotte learns that tomorrow the actor leaves and admits that he will miss her. Bob sits with a girl in a bar and they hold hands. Charlotte proposes to the man to stay and create a music band, but he only smiles and does not know what to say. 
The heroes ride together in the elevator and feel a growing awkwardness, from which even embarrassed and cannot look into each other's eyes. Bob wishes the girl a good night's sleep and goes to his room, feeling that his feelings for this sweet and sincere beauty are growing brighter and brighter. However, he must return to America and extinguish them. The next day, the man is about to leave Tokyo, and Charlotte receives a message from her spouse, in which he says that he will return tonight and is very eager to see her. Just before leaving, Bob says he has one more thing left to do and calls Charlotte's room. The man records a message for her saying that he forgot his jacket. He is sad that they didn't say goodbye, and he modestly wishes the girl good luck. Bob says goodbye to the Satora delegation, and at the same time Charlotte appears in the foyer with a jacket in her hands. The man admits that he will miss her very much and tries to find words to say goodbye to the girl. The heroes look into each other's eyes, but continue to feel awkward, unable to express their real feelings and sensations from parting. Bob watches longingly as the girl rides the elevator back up to the room. Sitting in a cab, the actor realizes that there is too much he could not say to Charlotte, and it gnaws at his heart. Suddenly he sees the girl walking on the sidewalk, and asks the cab driver to stop the car, so as not to miss the last chance to confess his feelings. Bob catches up with Charlotte, and sees that there are tears in her eyes. The actor hugs the crying girl and whispers something in her ear. The heroes kiss and say goodbye forever, but now all the cards are revealed and a smile shines on their faces, because they are happy that they met each other and spent a wonderful time together. Bob gets back into the cab, but now feels an extraordinary lightness and joy. The man heads to the airport and looks around at the city that gifted him with such a strong and rekindling feeling for Charlotte. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.